Confidence. Confidence isn't walking into a room with your nose in the air, thinking you're better than anyone else. It's walking into a room and not having to compare yourself to anyone in the first place. Welcome back to episode 326 of Stogie Geeks. I'm your host, Joe Hozempa. I'm joined by Remote. Actually, I'm joined in Stogie Geeks by Remote too, but also joined by Remote is Drew, our little dockhead boy from Texas. We are going to talk about the stick of the week. And this week, the stick is the Placencia Reserva Original in the Cortez size. That's a five and three fourths by 56. Drew, what's going on, bud? Not much. It's starting to get really cold up here. We're getting a cold front right now, so I'm outside in this garden, and I'm starting to get a little bit of frostbit <laughs> on the nose. So, uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. But no, no, no. It's good. It's good. It's uh, supposed to be what uh, 80 Monday or Tuesday, something like that. Something crazy. Mm. So, here yeah, we, are. we have like 37 now, and uh, it's going to be a uh, cold front today and tomorrow, and then go back yeah. to our our normal range, which is 50. <laughs> nah. you know so there you go 50 so the, 50 so the, 50 for us is cold yeah there you go so the placentia stick of the week we are continuing our series uh this week we're going to take some time out and talk about the original reserva in in the cortez size i like this stick um again this is a five and three fourths by 56 just to let you know, uh, the Placencia line is available in uh, seven different sizes. You have uh, a 7 by 48, 6 and a quarter by 44, um, a 5 and 3 fourths by 56. That's the Cortez size that we are going to take some time out and talk uh, about today. 4 and 1 half by 36, uh, 6 and 3 sixteenths by 52. Love the sizes, right? Um, yes. four, 4 and 3 fourths by 52 and 6 by 50. All different sizes. You get a different experience um, when you actually go through the different blends and sizes. This here, is, it's not quite a 60 ring gauge. Uh, however, it is the thickest of the ring gauges there. So there's going to be more of the binder and the uh, filler component filler. there. But also the size there. I don't know. To me, when I was reviewing the stick and smoking the stick, it reminded me of an opportunity for you to consider as a a celebratory stick there, right? It wouldn't possibly be a normal go-to because of its size there and because of its odd shape as opposed to, you know, a, con a, a conventional Churchill or Toro or a Busto size. But it's definitely a super cool size. Uh, there has a little pigtail on top. You can just pick right off and uh, and li and light it up and enjoy. I love pigtails. Mm. Mm. You could just Actually, buy. You could just. You could just chomp it right off. Take off that band at the end and light that baby. Fired fired it right up. <clears throat> Absolutely. Actually, pig oh, yeah. pigtails are like the bite off beginner stick. Right. It allows you to to do it in better fashion than just chomping it and then going oh, yeah. for it just to let you know this cigar is obviously made in the placencia factory down in nicaragua rapid binder filler are all nicaraguan uh it's strength profile it's it's not it's not a super strong stick it's a medium uh there one of the things that i noticed uh there right off the bat is you get a little bit of a um a caramel flavor with mm -hmm. some some cedar there obviously because the wrapper tends to run a little bit light uh, in regards to some of the other offerings from, uh, from Placencia. And I got a little bit of uh, nuttiness there for sure. Yeah. Yeah, definitely the cedar does come through on that, Joe, uh, as you were just saying. And then and then the uh, the fruits, uh, the dry, I, I call it more the dry fruits, you know, kind of the date, kind of a date, so to speak, uh, with the, uh, the pitted, what I call the pitted fruit. Uh, and then definitely you get the, uh, uh, what they describe as marzipan, and um, uh, that right there, just just delicately uh, uh, hits uh, combines well with the caramel. Mm, yeah, S Cigar Journal gave it a ninety. 
I mean, I, I, I would do, I would agree with that. You know, it's, yeah. it's not, it, it's not a, um, it's not one of the most complex offerings there, but however, um, you know, it's, it's a super, it's a super cool stick. If you have someone who's kind of introducing themselves, if they're new to cigars, it's a great stick for you to offer them for, for them to try. And because of its size, I don't know, it just, it just seems to, to stand out within that Cortez size that makes me kind of think of it as as a little bit of a celebratory stick for sure as opposed to yeah. an everyday stick yeah when i first looked at the stick uh when i first got it in my hands uh a while ago it it reminded me of a a, a, a longer zeppelin you know just uh you know the larger size zeppelin because it's just kind of thick on the ends it tapers off in the beginning tapers mm-hmm. off in the end into the pigtail and and so from there you just the, the flavors just start to really and, and the aromas come through uh, nicely throughout the cigar. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Stogie Geek rating. What would you give it? Oh yeah, this is a box for me. I, I like this because again, you can share the cigar with everybody. I when I do boxes, I, I get them in the intention of share, uh, sharing them with my uh, fellow uh, lounge members or just friends who come over and smoking the cigar with me. Uh, but yeah, I definitely give this a box worthy for me. Mm. Awesome. Yeah, I, I, I would too. I, I would, I, I'd, I'd give it a box, uh, a box, but because I would split it with a friend, I'd give it a box split with a friend. That's my yeah. final rating. You know, absolutely. Nice. Cool. Awesome. Drew, what else have you been smoking? I know under these, my, my smoking pattern has certainly, um, changed, right? Uh, mm. I'm not going into the studio. I'm working from home. Uh, my cadence in uh, cigars has come down uh, yes. uh, significantly. I have a little one at home as well, so I'm not going to just r- rip out a cigar and 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 start doing that. So you know, uh, I've been uh, smoking cigars during nap time, uh, not mine, his. So yeah. <laughs> so you know uh, <laughs> that that limits me to at least a robusto or maybe a little bit bigger, maybe a Toro, but but most of my go tos lately. Uh, have been uh, either Toro or Robusto size. Yeah, I've been keeping it in the Robusto line for sure. I mean, my cigar count is lower is lowering every week. I mean, I I have about 125 to 150 on a rotation of many different cigars. All, uh, but my Robusto sizes are just about depleted. Uh, everything else I have in my box is going to be either larger gauge or you know the uh, uh, the uh, Lancero gauge. Uh, but yeah, so I, uh, other than that, I get I get what you mean. I'm down to about thirty cigars right now. Is what I got left in my humidor. Mm-hmm. So I got to go really? pay my lounge a, a visit. Yeah, and I've been and I've actually cut. I've actually uh, been only smoking maybe I would say one a day. I would say at this point. Uh, sometimes I'll I'll be able to sneak in two on a Sunday if I'm watching a a movie or something out here in the in the patio, and then yeah. uh, and then and then from there just kind of you know. And otherwise, I just do my one a day, and that's pretty much it. That's all I got time for at this point. Mm-hmm. Uh, but my next car I was smoke, I've been smoking is the uh, Meat Carita Tricky Traca from uh, Dunbarton mm. Tobacco and Trust. Uh, one of my favorite cigars, uh, you know, Steve Saka, you know, hit it out of the park with this one as well. Uh, this cigar here is a Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper, uh, Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan and Dominican Lajero long fillers. Yeah. Uh, the cap is fused, uh, and the cap is formed into a fuse. Oh. Uh, uh, so I, I sometimes I'll do a straight cut on this. Uh, lately, I've been doing my deep V cuts, and just to get you know get it going pretty well and get to my favorite uh, La Hera, uh blend uh, within that cigar. Uh, as far as uh, you can expect, you know a peppery right off the bat. Uh, it's Keep very it bold. Keep it on. <clears throat> What's that? No, nope. go, oh, okay. go ahead. No, no. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's uh, very peppery, uh, bold, uh, leather spice, uh, earth uh, is what you'll get out of this cigar. Uh, again, it's one of my favorite go-tos from Steve Saka's line. Um, just you know, this this cigar here, I give it a uh, I give it a, a, a box split as well. Mm. Mm. And can you repeat the blend for those of you who are listening at home? Yeah, so it's a uh, Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, uh, Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan and Dominican Lajero long fillers. Nice, nice, awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've been getting into this week a ton 
uh, when I say a ton, I'm talking four, right? Um, <laughs> the, 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 my father, La Beju 1922. Oh yeah. I've been into that petite Robusto. Um, that's a four and a half by 50. Uh, I did have the Toro this morning, a six by 52. Uh, it's available in a grand Robusto Churchill and a torpedo box press, as well as a Corona Gorda, but I'm really digging the, the petite, the petite Robusto and the Toro. Everything's in, in, in regular production with my father's cigars. Your, uh, wrapper is a Honduran, uh, I'm sorry, blah, 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 blah. Your wrapper is a Nicaraguan Habano Oscuro, and your binder and filler is a Nicaraguan. What I'm noticing mm. there now is because it's 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 I'm not in studio and 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 and, and having cigar cadence kind of be, it, it's just a little bit lowered. It's not by much. Sure. I mean, I'm still having a cigar or two daily and whatnot. It's just it's just it's different when they're not readily available. As I was explaining in our interview. On the first segment with with Mike Bellity, you know, now I have my my uh, my cigar pouch here and like I'm picking my sticks for the day that I'm going to have for the day as opposed to having a luxury of walking in the studio, opening up a humidor and fig, uh, figuring it out. So uh, it is a little bit different with 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 these. But, uh, you know, as I've been dubbing um, stay at home problems, right? You with your beard, mm-hmm. uh, me with my pomade, and 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 now me with my cigar case, right? It's it's the new normal. It's the new normal. Yes. It's like a, it's like how everybody else smokes, right? You don't have the luxury <laughs> of just being in in front of a humidor or having Havana Cigars, our sponsor, right next door, and just you know being able to walk walk the next suite over and have six hundred facings every day. It's a much right. different world. It's a much different world we live in, I'll tell you. But in regards <laughs> to the my father Le Beju, uh, 1922. What, what I've, what I'm finding out is now when I'm smoking, I'm just because life has slowed down naturally, right? I'm, I'm, I'm right. taking time to really just smoke slower. I know I'm smoking a petite robusto or, or robusto during the day while while my son's napping or I'm going for a walk at night uh, there. And uh, the weather here in the Northeast is spotty, right? We have 30 yeah. degree days and 50 degree days. So if it's a 30 degree days, I'm not walking out at night. I'll just wait no. till the next day. It is what it is. But um, what what I've been pulling out is the actual nuances of the cigar. And what, what I'm liking here is that, um, you know, it, it's, 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 it's a smooth, nutty flavor that has an increase of pepper as time goes on. And if you retrohale it, smoke it slow, it's a super cool stick that I've, I've kind of become accustomed to this, this week. I've been, I've been um, going through, through the lines there. I've had the La Promisea, and I've had the yeah. Judge by them as well this week. Yeah. But to me, the uh, La Beju 1922 is, is really where it's at. I'd give it a box worthy all day. Nice. Yeah, that's a very nice cigar. I've had that cigar uh, many times this past uh, year cycle in the year, and uh, I have to agree with you on there. That's definitely a box worthy cigar. Um, it definitely uh, it stays consistent, uh, if anything, and uh, the it, it just the smoke content on it's just really, you know, wonderful. So, agree with you there, definitely sure. Mm. What else have you been smoking? So what I'm smoking is what I'm smoking right now, or what I've been smoking was what I'm smoking right this minute. Nice. Is the uh, New World Pural Especial by A.J. Fernandez. Mm. And again, you know, as I said last year, or this year, earlier this year, back in January, I thought the New World uh, uh, San Latano should have been a cigar of the year. That was mine. I'm still, I'm still on that drum. <laughs> so uh, by A.J. Fernandez, uh, handcrafted, uh, it's crafted with 100% Cuban Nicaraguan tobaccos. Uh, it's wrapped in a smooth, uh, you know, this is oily wrapper. The wrappers I've gotten were pretty, just a little bit, just just slightly oiled, not too not too much. Uh, but I've seen some that were oily for sure. Uh, I'm not sure if that's based on because of the humidor where I picked them up at or based on my humidor uh, here at the house. Um, so these blends are uh, special, uh, specifically and specially handpicked. Uh, throughout uh, Fernandez's different farms located in Nistali, uh, all of which have been aged from three to five years. Uh, so this cigar, you know, it, it's it's definitely multi-layered. It's got uh, it's it's complex in itself. 
Uh, this cigar, you definitely want to take your time with. Don't rush it. I said, you know, I go to it every two and a half to three minutes uh, with whatever I'm sipping. Uh, but you can expect to get some really good notes of spice. Uh, you'll get the dried fruit in there for sure. Uh, you'll get uh, some almonds, uh, the creaminess of almonds in there. And then you, you'll kick back and forth between the cocoa and the leather. Uh, the, the, the cocoa uh, seems to be really come through in the second third into the last uh, uh, third of the cigar. Uh, otherwise, you know, this cigar, I, I just, I, I mean, I take them down to the nubs. I mean, I just love these new world cigars. Uh, these I'm definitely, I'm always boxing these. I'm always buying them by the box. Uh, I enjoy them. I hoard them for myself and myself only. <laughs> uh, sometimes my friends, they, they want me to share with them and I'm like, yeah, okay, well give me one of your, uh, Cohiba Spectres or what have you. And I'll trade you. <laughs> there you um, go. Otherwise, uh, you know these these are very good a very good smoke to have in your cigar uh in in, in a rotation um I, I just like to have these at least once uh sometimes twice a week um but it's uh i'm i got the seven by 52 ring gauge uh wrapper wrapper on this is going to be nicaragua uh habano uh binder is going to be nicaragua and habano and then filler nicaragua uh full strength uh wrapper shade ems uh but otherwise i mean it's it's a it's a poodle through and through and uh, you can't go wrong with the cigar um i like to have these cigars midday uh towards the evening this is not something i would have with one of my coffees in the morning but uh definitely uh it, it, it is a nice cigar to come home to uh as you're driving home you're like thinking i'm i don't know if you're like me i i'm thinking when i get home after i've done the honeydews uh, you know, which cigar I'm going to pull out of the humidor and, and go out in the patio, uh, in the mm. cigar and, and enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I go through my day like that too. Like where I'm like, you know, I'm going to smoke this today or whatever it may be in there. And, 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 you know, and, and that's just, that's just how it works in the morning yeah. when, and in the glory days, when I used to go in the studio, uh, I, I, I used to just let the, the humidor speak to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or in the afternoon, if I walk over to Havana Cigar Club or whatever and, and, and let it speak to me and stuff like that. But, you know, now it's like I've been saying, oh, I got to go. I've been kind of picking and choosing my sticks and, and there. But, yeah, at nighttime, um, I, I do get like, oh, wow, or this weekend I have a like I don't have one this weekend. But, oh, we have an event coming up with a barbecue and we're going to be sure. outside. I'm going to smoke this because, you know, it's going to give me, you know, I pick it because of time. You know, yeah. like I don't want to go to a, a party, a barbecue and smoke a two hour stick and be antisocial. You know what right. I mean? So I'll have a Robusto and kind of balance the time and all of that stuff. So, yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I'm certainly just like you in that in that regards where I pick and choose what I, um, you know, what, what size and which cigar I'm kind of having a hankering for, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. This cigar, you know, uh, by box. Uh, if you buy a box of twenty, you can expect to get it at about one hundred and eighty bucks. Yep. Uh, of course, if you're a member at a, at a lounge, you, you'll probably get the ten. Uh, sometimes, you know, whatever the discount that they have there for the members. But uh, yeah, this 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 box here, like I said, it, it's 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 beautiful. It's uh, the cigars, and I mean, they just they keep real nice. I just put them in my. Uh, I got one of those uh, cigar refrigerator type humidors for my boxes, and then mm -hmm. I have my my desktop humidor where I keep the stuff that I know I'm going to, I just go to my, I just go to my, uh, what do you call that? Cigar refrigerator <laughs> and, and pick out the smokes out of there and then transfer them over to my humidor. And then from there, I, I kind of know where I'm going that week and what notes, uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, as I get into that stick. Yeah, absolutely. What, what was your final rating on that? Uh, box. Yeah, definitely. Box. box really. Yeah. Yeah. Duh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. I was sorry. <laughs> I was zoning no, off. I was zoning off. I got, I got, I got remote show fatigue. You know what I mean? Like I'm remote, mm -hmm. and I just, it's so different from studio. You know, makes me appreciate studio and Johnny's hospitality for sure. But you're, you're becoming you a, uh, you could becoming more like myself, where the setup only takes me about five minutes. Where when I first started this show last year, it's going to be a year here coming up, and that I is remember wild. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, yeah, it's it's crazy because it's like wow. I remember it used to take me like twenty five minutes. I used to go to the bathroom and 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 just kind of throw a few shadow boxes, <laughs> uh, nice. you know, to get pumped up. And then uh, 
and now it's 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 nice, you know. You're the, coming up on a year already. Coming up on a year, my friend. Wow, I think what do we have? Like another four weeks or something like that, or not even? Not even. I think just a couple of weeks away, and that's it. It was towards. Oh, the end of we got to do something for your year. Well, yes, we got to do are. something. For, oh my <laughs> god, a year! Oh, fuck. that's so crazy. That time flies when you're having fun. Mm-hmm. Well, let me ask you this question: Are you, are you having fun? I'm having a very great time. Uh, you know, learning, just uh, uh, getting used to being in front of the camera and just speaking uh, more uh, fluently versus the us and ums. Uh, I know, nice. I know, they still pop in every once in a while, but uh, other than that, it's it's been a blast, and and it's going to continue being a blast. I'm looking forward to what we got planned uh, for the yeah. rest of 2020 and beyond. Yeah, yeah, super cool. Yeah, we got some super cool interviews coming up, Stogie Geeks. Uh, we have uh, Newman's coming, from JC Newman, uh, yeah. Eric Newman. So that that's coming up soon with an interview, Alec. and also um, Alec and Bradley. Yes, Alec and Alec. Bradley. I yeah. am. I'm super pumped for that interview uh, so as I. well. So Stogie Geeks, we got some more. We got Noel Rojas coming aboard yes. as well. Drew, Drew's got that in the making. Once COVID is passed and he can go, he's actually going to go down to the factory there and, and do an episode of Story Geeks. So he'll yeah, be remote. Okay. Hopefully I won't be remote, but I probably will be remote. Who knows? But we'll have yeah. to figure that out uh, as, as we get there. You're becoming you know? a pro or you are a pro now. Yeah, I don't know about that. You know, in regards <laughs> to the oohs and ums, I've been saying that for years. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't worry about that. It's all good, Drew. <laughs> I can't believe it's been a year already. That is wild. I, yeah, show, it's, it's, I remember yeah. that email I shot you about uh, pairing uh, with 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 coffees at one of my favorite joints that I really miss. My wife and I miss going down to Hugo's over here in Las Colinas and uh, enjoying the drinks and uh, enjoying the army, you know, the patio and just enjoying the, all the the beautiful surrounding area there. Uh, it's got a little lakefront property, a little lake. Mm-hmm. There's called Lake Car- Lake Caroline or something like that. Uh, but yeah, it's just nice. It's a nice place to just be and. And people always like, you know, like um, Mike Bellady was just saying, when you're smoking a cigar, people come up and they're like, what are you smoking? And, you know, what what is that? And where can I get it? And it's, it's pretty neat. Definitely an equalizer. Uh, man, I miss those days. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, me either. <laughs> you know? well, yeah. well, we will get there for sure. Someday, right? Someday. Final stick yeah. I want to talk about. I've been really into to, to, to this stick over the past five weeks of self-isolation or stay at home or whatever. It's the Davidoff Nicaragua Robusto. Um, this here, the wrapper is a Nicaragua Rosado wrapper. Uh, your binder is Nicaraguan from the Jalapa Valley and your filler is Nicaragua from Esteli Ometepe. Uh, and let me tell you something. This is a five by 50 ring gauge. Awesome, awesome stick. I mean, you're going to get, right off the bat, you're going to get a pleasant blast of pepper coming right up. The risotto wrapper really has a, a sweetness to it for, for, for subtlety, um, as subtle as a true Nicaraguan smoke can get from the Jalapa Valley. But, you know, you get a sweetness from, 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 from the risotto wrapper. You, you, you get little notes of uh, cream. Uh, there, if you don't retrohale, if you retrohale, I think for my palate, cream goes out the window there. Yeah. But you do get a smoothness, uh, a little bit of uh, leather component towards the end. I bullet cut it. I sit down when when my son's napping, and I've been enjoying those. I've been going and, and getting five or, or six at a time for sure. But uh, in regards to uh, Stogie Geek rate, rating, box worthy all day. And that yeah. was the uh, Davidoff Nicaragua Robusto. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So, Drew, we got a couple of interviews coming up over the next couple of weeks. Uh, looking forward yes. to that. Uh, Stogie Geeks, I want to encourage you that um, if you want to check out today's stick of the week, the uh, Placencia Reserva Original. Um, all you have to do is go to stogiegeeks.com, click on the banner page, type in your zip code, the banner that has pl- Placencia cigars on it. Type that in, and from there uh, you can find a retailer near you. Get out there and support your local brick and mortars, especially during this time. Drew, I want to ask you to stay safe. Um, yes. You know, and stay safe and enjoy your time with your grandson. I know oh, you've yeah. been catching him and whatnot. So yeah, 
Absolutely. Yeah. Stoke, you know, anything else you want to say before I wrap up? Yeah, as I say, tomorrow we start the uh, bandana phase, you know, of this of this uh, pandemic, where if you got to go somewhere, you got to start wearing a uh, cover. <coughs> and so yeah. this morning, my wife and I, as you as you saw the Facebook post that we uh, posted this morning, oh, uh, yeah, that was be, hilarious. We went out, yeah, we just she's like, "Do you have some for me?" I'm like, "Sure." I went to my biker closet and picked out some of the uh, uh, face coverings that we wear when we're on a road trip, and uh, so that was kind of fun. And she she's picking out some of the other ones there that she likes. That, uh, but yeah, we're getting into that phase now where it looks like the curve is starting to flatten a little bit. Um, I know the guys in New York, man. I I feel I feel for my buddies there in New York. Is you know, I mean, the fear that's there, but you know, God willing, all this will pass. Uh, sooner than later. And, um, you know, I'm just like I tell everybody, just be safe out there. Use common sense. You know, do all the things that they, you know, that that the gov- uh, that your local government and, you know, what what is, you know, respect for your fellow human being. Just, you know, just do that. And everybody will be fine, I think, at the end of the day. Um, for mm. those who, you know, for those of those, I mean, I, I had some friends, uh, friends of friends who have who have, uh, you know, uh, lost their battle with that, uh, you know, but they had some under, underlying issues. But nonetheless, you know, this is a good time to check, uh, you know, uh, you know, yourself and just kind of, you know, just be fell, you know, just be kind to your fellow human being and and move forward and uh, definitely support your uh, brick and mortar shops. Everybody is offering curbside. They'll they'll mail you the cigars. You know, just got to go through their call them up or go through their portal and, and order your cigars and, um, you know, we'll keep smoking. Yeah. Yeah. Keep smoking and be patient and be nice yeah. to yourselves and each other. And that's, that's, I guess that's the best advice that I can give. I mean, you know, yeah. we, we just have to be as patient as we can be safe sure. and, uh, you know, and, and, and we'll, we'll come out of this hopefully sooner than later. And, uh, unfortunately, l- l- like we said in the, in, in the beginning of this episode with, when we were interviewing with, with Michael, uh, Bellity, Mike Bellity, uh, you know, it, it's like, you know, like it, some brick and mortars and some businesses just might not be able to weather the storm. Um, you know, just try your best, do your best and, and, uh, pivot. That's what owning a small business is all about is pivoting yeah. and trying to navigate through these crazy waters um yeah. and and you know hopefully we'll, we'll we'll see what 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 goes on and and what and what the future brings but by far a lot of businesses will be scarred from this for sure uh yeah. or hopefully hopefully they can make it and i want to encourage the story geek listener thank you for listening and watching and i want to uh, ask that you're out there using common sense and being safe remember we keep the conversation going all week long you go to storygeeks.com sure. you can follow drew and i on facebook if you uh, want to email Drew, it's Drew at StogieGeeks.com. I'm Joe H at StogieGeeks.com. Tell your friends about the podcast. we got a couple of cool interviews coming up for sure. I want to remind you that behind every cigar is a story worth knowing. Get out there and shop local and support your local brick-and-mortar businesses. Special thank you to Placencia Cigars, McAuliffe Cigars, Havana Cigar Club, and J.C. Newman. Yes. Stogie Geeks, we'll see you next time. Peace. Be safe.